what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Black militia members showed up at the residence of Gregory and Travis McMichael. They are the white father and son who is responsible for killing black jogger Ahmaud Arbery in cold blood on February 23rd in Georgia. They claim he was a burglary suspect and when they stopped him to talk to him, he attacked Travis and Travis killed him. So reports are that there are a lot of people who are black in that town, in Glen County, being intimidated. This is, uh, the town is, uh, the county is Glen County, but the, the uh, town is Bronswick. He was murdered just outside of Bronswick. Now, what do you guys think about this armed presence at the home of the killers? Good look, bad look. What do you think? We're talking about protecting yourselves, right? Now, how constitution, how constitutional is that? I thought about it. Like, you know, you see uh, white guys armed all the time and you know people look at it and say man that's a bad thing it's a bad look but nobody like really really gets too afraid of it right especially police you know it's, it's almost like they are the police so i started looking into these militias and i'm in texas so you know militia is big out here in fact around the United States, they say that these militia groups have between 20 to 60,000 uh, members collectively. I think it's actually more than that. Militia groups took off back in the 1990s. If you can recall, uh, what's, his, what's that guy? Randy Reaver. Randy Reaver, he was the, the lead guy in Ruby Ridge. That was a standoff in 92 with the FBI. These militia groups in the U.S. have a variety of ideologies and objectives with many of the high-profile organizations espousing anti-tax, anti-immigration, sovereign citizen, land views, libertarian. Oh, and let's not forget the drum roll, please. <laughs> Southern restoration views. But well, they love some good old deep south views. Let's get back to the lynching. Let's get back to the whites only, blacks only signs. Let's go back to yes sir boss. Don't look at me. Let's get back. Now, the one commonality that all of these groups have, no matter what their views are. In general, they all are anti-tyrannical government in the US. They believe that they have to arm themselves and that the government must be met with force, armed force. Let's see tyrannical government in the U.S. Tyrannical government. Shooting people in the head back 50 times with impunity. Busting into people's houses, gunning them down. Uh, nothing happens. Just shooting people, killing people, shooting people, killing people. Kill, kill, kill. Do whatever they want to do. Nobody goes to jail. Nobody gets punished. Tyrannical? Is that tyrannical? Taking folks' land, taxing folks like 
ridiculous amounts of money whenever they feel like it. But let's just get back to the killing people and pushing people around. But y'all want them to take the guns off the streets. Homie don't think so. They are now worried now that the black guys have a militia. I think every single black person in this country should be armed. If you're not going to be a part of a militia, you need to arm yourself at the very least. Because you just don't have these type of issues when people know that you're ready, that you're strapped, and you are down. You just don't have the same kind of issues. There's a different level of respect. It's just where we live at. So I'm all for it. I think that if you're interested in becoming a militia member, uh, somebody who wants to exercise your constitutional rights because the Constitution does give you the right to bear arms, I think you should arm yourself and you should be a part of a militia, not just have a gun, not just run around here waving guns on the internet, but being a responsible gun owner and only uh, brandishing that weapon when it's time. You dig what I'm saying? Now, the guy who's leading the charge over there, his name is Big Tex. He's a good friend of mine. And he has some video that he's going to share with me, and I'm going to share it with you guys. I'm actually waiting on it right now. So as soon as I get it, I'm going to upload it and let y'all see what's going on out there because there's some things that we're not privy to because we're not on the ground. And that's all I'm gonna say right now. But stay tuned, that video is coming up real soon. In the meantime, drop a comment, fam. No more talk. What the talking about?